Hey folks, it's Tim and it's a beautiful night here on Cape Cod. I'm at Nopska Lighthouse here in Falmouth and I've got some moonlight, I've got some stars, and these are the perfect conditions to demonstrate a brand new feature that Pentex just released over the last few months called Star Autofocus, or Star AF for short, which is a pretty awesome name. And it's exactly what you think it is, and that is awesome considering that this camera is nine years old and they're still adding features. So if you have a K1 Mark I, K1 Mark II, K3 Mark III or a K3 Mark III monochrome, you can install this feature. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you more about how this feature works, how you can get it if you want it, and then how to utilize it once you have it. Spoiler alert, the feature's awesome. I love it, it's totally worth it, and you should get it. To be upfront, this feature is what they consider a premium feature, which means that, yeah, you're gonna to have to pay for it. It's actually one feature out of a larger Astro package where you'll get three new upgrades to your camera. The first one is going to be the star autofocus, which is primarily what this video is about. Then there's gonna be an option to use micro focusing using a wireless remote. Nothing I'm interested in or covering in this video. And then the last thing, which is pretty interesting, is the ability to do some post-processing of your astro photos. Things you'd probably do on a computer, but the fact that the camera would give you that option internally is kind of fascinating, and I'll probably do a video again later on just that feature. Getting this upgrade requires essentially three steps. First, you're gonna go to Rico's website. I put the link in the description directly to that page, and you're gonna fill out an online form. And in that form, you're gonna see an area that says customer notes or something similar, a note field. That's where you're gonna put the serial number of your camera, and this is important. You cannot leave that blank. And also know that there's no specific field that asks for the serial number. So you've gotta to remember to put it in there and also the camera model that you have. So in my case, in the notes, I just put Pentax K1 Mark I and then the serial number. The reason this is super important is because the serial number is going to be used to generate the code that will be emailed to you and that code is gonna be specific to you. So they make it very clear that if you get the serial number wrong, you're gonna get the wrong code and there's no refunds for that. So make sure that you triple, quadruple, quintuple, is that a word in this phrase? I don't know. Check your serial number just to make sure that you are sending them the correct number and you get the right code. Once you get through all of that, which really isn't that much, it's your name, your phone number, your email address, uh, you can set up an account with them if you want. You put in that serial number and the camera model. You're gonna proceed to a payment. Yes, this is a paid upgrade. And I am not a fan of paid upgrades on really anything. Now, that's not to say that this is paid firmware. You can continue to update your firmware as you normally would. But to unlock the features that you'll see in the most recent firmware, you'll have to go with this upgrade. And as of right now, it's gonna run you about $80. So you'll have to decide whether or not having the ability to autofocus on stars at night is worth it for you. And for me, I'm pretty good at focusing at night. So it wasn't one of those things that I felt like I needed, but I just wanted to have. Olympus has had something very similar for a while. I recently got to see one of those cameras in action and I just loved the feature. And to be honest with you, uh, I'm not always 100% accurate on my, my focusing, and there's nothing worse than getting home at the end of a shoot thinking you nailed everything, and then blowing up an image on your computer and finding out that your focus was just a teeny tiny bit off. So the goal here is to eliminate that. Of course, best practice is to always pixel peep every shot that you take right after you take it before moving on to make sure that you did get it right. Now, once you submit your order, it's gonna take between one and seven days. That's what they tell you on the website, so sit on your hands and just be patient. In my case, I had it back in just under 24 hours. Now, your mileage may vary. I don't wanna set that expectation, but it is possible that you could get it as quickly as I did. And how that comes to you is what looks like a QR code that's been emailed, which you think, well, what am I gonna do with that? In the case of the installation, the QR code is what you're going to use to scan with your camera believe it or not. Yeah, you're gonna use your camera body to scan a QR code. It does not come with a numeric code that you're gonna enter through a finicky back panel using you know, arrows and like a big keyboard on the back screen. This is, in theory, supposed to be pretty easy. So essentially all you have to do is go into the menu system, 
get to the wrench menu number five there and find that premium feature option. Then you'll go into Star Auto Focus. You'll see there's a little unlock button on there currently. And it's as easy as hitting the green button on the side of the camera. So the little green button that's just to the upper right hand side of your live view screen. And then your camera should try to look at that code. If it does it right, it's gonna seem like your camera froze up for maybe about 15 seconds. And then you'll get a confirmation message that everything's been unlocked. At that time, you'll be prompted to turn the camera off, flip it back on, and you're up and running. It's actually pretty easy to use and it's really easy to find in your menu system. So I'm gonna set up my K1 here and then flip this Fuji around so that you can see the screen and we'll just kind of go through it together so you can understand how it works. It probably goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway, that the only way that star autofocus works is if you have a lens that has autofocus, right? So I have the 15 to 30 from Pentax made by Tamron, and I've been using that lens as my primary lens for years now. I also have a couple Rokinons, which frequently pair with the Pentax system really well, but obviously in those cases, most of them, probably all of them are manual focus. This isn't gonna help you in those situations, but I have the 15 to 30, the 28 to 105. And for both of those lenses, they're gonna work great. So looking at the back of the Pentax K1 Mark I, this is pretty easy to activate once you have it installed to turn it on or shut it off is as simple as going into the menu. And there's one other way that you can do it, but let me show you the menu option first. So if you go into camera one, down to contrast detection AF, click on that. And then right at the top, you're gonna arrow over to this list and you're gonna go right on down to star. It's as easy as that. That's all you gotta do. Now it is in there. The other thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could also add it to one of these quick panels here. Now I actually have it added right here under star so you can use the back thumb wheel to turn that on or shut it off as you need to. But either way, it's nice to have extra options. You get this tiny little white box. That's where you wanna make sure that there is a star uh, within the confines of that box there. And you'll do your typical focus routine of a half press and it's gonna do its thing. Now, it could take anywhere between one and 30 seconds to finish. You'll see a little white star in there kind of moving around. When you get the green, and there it is, you are in good shape, you have succeeded. If you get red, that's just letting you know that it's failed and give it another try. If you get more than one failure, you get a little frustrated, just move it over a little bit to a different part of the sky. And of course, when you're done, when you're confident you're ready to go, and you get your first shot and you're happy, if you're gonna take more shots at the same distance or from the same angle, just flip that camera back into manual focus because at that point you should be pretty much good to go. So that is star AF in a nutshell, and in my opinion, it is good AF. <laughs> it really is. I've used it now for several shoots, and the one thing that I can confidently say is that it does just a little bit better at focusing than I've been doing. And I've always considered myself to be a pretty good manual focuser. But when I review the photos that this new feature is getting, the focus is just a little better, like 5%, but it is definitely noticeable. I think you'll notice it too. I hope you found this video useful. I appreciate your time. YouTube is work, but it's not a job for me. So the only button I'm interested in you smashing is the shutter button on your camera, gently using the information that I gave you tonight. I'll see you out there after dark.